Hello friends, welcome to Incredible Physics. Hello guys, today we will discuss a special case of center of mass in which we are given two blocks M1 and M2 which is connected to a spring and we will be given that these two blocks are provided two velocities in any direction and we have to find the maximum and minimum velocities obtained by these blocks. So as you can see we have taken two types of frame here G frame which is the ground frame and C frame which is a center of mass frame. So for solving these type of problems you will have to draw four diagrams A, B, C, D. In first diagram we have taken some numerical values for the better understanding of the concept where M1 is 4 kg and 2 is 1 kg. M1 is provided a velocity 3 meter per second in the right for direction and M2 is provided a velocity 2 meter per second in left for direction and we have to find the maximum and minimum velocity obtained by these two blocks possible. So first of all we have to find the center mass velocity as you can see we can find the VCM here VCM is M1 V1 plus M2 V2 divided by M1 plus M2 we are taking rightward direction as positive so it is 3 into 4 which is positive and minus 1 into 2 divided by 1 plus 4 so it is 2 meter per second positive means in the rightward direction so center of mass is moving in the rightward direction with velocity 2 meter per second so this is the diagram of G frame now we will be if we observe this system from central mass frame the velocity observed of central mass will be zero so we have to provide the same velocity two meter per second in left by direction so the velocity observed of m2 will be four meter per second in left by direction as well one meter per second in right by direction which is the velocity of m1 these velocities are observed from center of mass frame now in third case we have to just reverse the velocities direction as it was 4 meter per second in left by direction so we have to make it in right by direction 4 meter per second and this was 1 meter per second in right by direction so this will be the 1 meter per second in left by direction Actually, these 4 meter per second and 1 meter per second are the maximum velocities observed from the center of mass frame. But we have to find the result from the ground frame. So we have to come to the last diagram and we have to convert these velocity with respect to the ground frame. Now, if we observe the third system, the C diagram from the ground frame, we have to provide again a 2 meter per second to the blocks in right by direction when it is observed from the ground so it will be 4 plus 2 that is 6 it will be obtained 2 meter per second in right by direction so 2 minus 1 or we can say this is 1 meter per second now we have to compare the extreme cases a and d in diagram a m1 has velocity 3 meter per second in right by direction and in case d m1 has velocity 1 meter per second in case a m2 has velocity 2 meter per second in left by direction and in case d m2 has velocity 6 meter per second in right by direction actually we have to compare this, these two cases so we can find that m1 has 3 meter per second and 1 meter per second in the same direction so so out of these velocities one is the maximum and second one is minimum so we can say that for m1 v minimum is 1 meter per second and v maximum is 3 meter per second for m2 v minimum is not 2 meter per second we have to observe that the direction of the velocity of m2 has been 
reversed initially it was 2 meter per second in leftward direction and now it has 6 meter per second in rightward direction so whenever a block reverses the direction of its velocity definitely it has a zero minimum velocity so in case of m2 the v minimum is zero meter per second and what about maximum velocity obviously it is six meter per second so guys we have to convert the real velocities of the two blocks first in the central mass frame and second step we have to just reverse those velocities in the same frame and finally we have to convert the third case with respect to the ground frame and after comparing the first one and the last one diagram which are in ground frame we can find the v max and v minimum of the two blocks which are connected with the spring and we have to consider one main point that if the velocity of any block is reversed in first and the last case then it has definitely zero minimum velocity so guys i think you have come to know how to find the v max and v minimum of this type of system if you like this video please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon button for the notifications of upcoming videos and please share the video as well if you have any question or suggestion you can comment me or you want a video on any another topic please comment me thank you